It's 8.30 p.m. and it's Dr. Jonathan again with another healing meditation for slowing down, settling down, and finding peace at the end of the day and in chaotic times. Um, <clears throat> I myself am really slowing down. It's been a long day. I still have a three-year-old that wakes up at the crack of dawn with more energy than um, a football team. But I'm grateful for every moment. If you've been following me uh, the last few days, you know from my 12 at 12s and my uh, evening meditations that we've been looking a lot at, um, at the pain and division, particularly in this country where I am now in the United States. And, and in particular within that, I mean, aside from the COVID divisions and, 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 and political division and all that stuff that's going on, um, the explosive impact of the George Floyd uh, murder. And uh, so if you want to hear more thoughts on that or other perspectives on that, you can look at some of the things I've done recently. But tonight, we're going to do a very simple meditation. Um, again, something more like a visualization, sort of a meditative prayer. And, and this is really in honor of all that. And when I say all that, I mean all that we've been exploring through the videos, all that we've been exploring live, and all that we're being confronted with in the world today. So instead of more thoughts and ideas, we're moving into a place of concentrating on, on giving. So let's move beyond protecting ourselves from the craziness of the world, and let's tonight, tonight's meditation be about how we, no matter what we're facing, no matter what's going on in our body, mind, heart, or soul, we are connected to the wellspring of love, wisdom, and energy. And if we choose, we can allow it to flow through us. So with that, let's close our eyes. I'm going to invite you to take a few really big, exaggerated deep breaths in. So you're going to do that about five to ten times. And we find that quick, big breath, that vigorous big breath, actually starts to stimulate a kind of slowing down pretty quickly. Once you get to that point where you're ready to slow down, your eyes are closed, you're sitting comfortably with a straight spine. And you're paying attention to stillness, silence, energy. Now concentrating on the exhale. Releasing all the barriers we have built up against love. Think of it that way. Breathing out anything that keeps us from our greatest connection with source, spirit, love, blessing. And you really want to think about that with each exhale. Really concentrating on affirming you are releasing any blocks, any barriers, any cords, attachments, stuckness that keeps you from your direct connection to the wellspring of love and spirit that is within you. And as you imagine or feel yourself lighter, more open, more energized and released, just imagine that from the very core of your spine, the base of your spine, you feel a subtle energy emerging and rising towards your heart. You don't really see it at first. If you're visualizing this, it's almost like it grows subtly from the invisible to the visible where your heart fills with energy. Imagine your heart filling with energy as this steady flow comes up from the base of your spine. 
And then you're going to bring your right hand and your left hand to your heart, one on top of the other, kind of like in a cup-like motion. And all we're going to do is we're going to imagine that energy building, filling the heart with light and love, whatever that looks like to you or feels like. And then when you imagine your hands are filled, your body and being are filled, you're going to open your hands out as if you were releasing love into the universe. It's nice if you can time the release, the opening of love to the universe, to the world, with an exhale. And as you get into the rhythm of seeing the energy rising up from the spine, glowing into the heart, and then flowing out through your hands and into the world, then you're going to start to have the opportunity to be more intentional sending love and light to the family of George Floyd. Sending love and light to the family of all those in pain because of the fear they live with due to racial violence. Feeling it rise up and flow out, offering it to every family member and loved one who has lost someone to the pandemic or any illness flows up and then out again through the cup into the world for every business owner suffering, for every parent afraid for their children, for everyone who is in need but has no solutions. Whatever comes to you, just take this time, see the energy rising, building, filling the cup that's in your hands and then offering it to whoever, wherever, whatever you want. Take your time and be with each affirmation of outpouring love. It rises within you from an infinite source. It pools in your heart, not as your love, but as love in your reservoir, and then you offer it out. So you can continue this, and I actually suggest you do. It's a wonderful exercise to do for 10 or 15 minutes. But this is really our practice for tonight, so... Do your best with it. Feel the peace that is at the heart of your energy. Feel the love and connection that is a part of the pain or sorrow that causes you to offer your blessing. And in that connection, through pain, though it is strange and unlikely, we keep our hearts open and affirm the unity of life that we are held in spirit and we must do all we can for each other. So thank you for joining me again. If you like this, please share it. And of course, you're welcome to listen to it uh, anytime and offer it to other people if you think it might be helpful when they're in need. So. Hopefully you're going to get a good rest. I'm going to bed early. And um, love you all. Thanks for listening.